know you probably say you don't much like the way that I've been living. That is, if there ever were any kind of reason to be giving me any attention. Talk about. I have to keep abreast of what's going on if you decide to bring up Curdy Bets. Curdy Bets. Curdy Bets. Thing is, right now, I'm a nobody. I've been walking in LA. Though I'm not sure I would mind, like to see what I can find. Some people are saying that's not realistic. Shouldn't up and fly, just say goodbye to whatever it is. I have learned from the biz of this town I grew up in. Particularly a fan of American Idol. Never watch it, and I don't even own my own TV. Although I did play for your Cup once in a while at the University of Oklahoma. But what am I dropping names for me? The hit show, you are LA. But I'm talking to you in my heart And anything I'm doing She heard me, I said it was a nice Asian girl with a pink shirt Going out of the building, I don't know what she thought I said But it's okay, hope she wasn't upset wasn't upset, not real sure. She probably left just because she had somewhere to go. Or maybe she was mentally deranged. Doug, I think that you're right. She was probably out of her mind. Back when 
you came out on your show back in the late 90s. And I was kind of sad because I was pretty sure you were gay, but I wasn't certain, you know what I'm saying? I thought maybe might have some kind of shot, some long shot with a woman 15 years older than me. Who was exceedingly cute. Even if she was gay as a three dollar bill on a springtime day in Paris. At least I thought you were a goofy ass tomboy in New York. Let me tell you, that was kind of refreshing. Because everything was so hard there. Why? 